When people in northern Shanxi celebrate the Chinese New Year, a Yanko dance is always part of the festivities. A special performance of Yanko in 1943 is still talked about today. The photograph shows spectators gathered on a hillside in front of cave dwellings and in a square. It's estimated that as many as 20,000 people were present. The performance they had come to see featured a local Yanko star. His name was Wang Dahua. At the time, when news spread that Wang Dahua would be performing somewhere, everyone in the area would flock to see him. Wang Dahua was so popular in the Shanxi, Gansu, Ningxia border region that there were even Wang Dahua cigarettes and Wang Dahua soap. Becoming a star requires both talent and opportunity. In May 1942, Wang Dahua was among more than 100 literary and art workers who attended the Yin An Conference on Literature and Art. Afterwards, in the spirit of the meeting, he made a point of getting to know and learning from the local people. The experience led him and his students at the Lu Xun Academy of Fine Arts, leading the reform of Yanko Opera. Wang Dahua was particularly inspired by reports he read about the efforts of a farmer named Ma Pi Un and his daughter to reclaim wasteland. To perfect his performance, Wang Da Hua joined a group of farmers. Ho in hand, he helped them with their land reclamation. At night, by the light of a kerosene lamp, he rehearsed with the local people in the Chiao Ar Go area. He learned their dialect, and in order to improve his portrayal of a young farmer, he visited people's homes. There he observed how they lived, what they wore, and how they liked to be entertained. In 1943, Chinese New Year's Day fell on February the 5th, despite a temperature of minus 10 and a biting wind carrying sand and dust. More than 20,000 people gathered outside the southern gate of Yan'an. To the sound of drums and gongs, Wang Dahua entered the stage, carrying a ho on his shoulder. The familiar Yanko dance accompanied by the local Mei Hu folk music was an instant success. The audience was deeply moved by his portrayal of a young farmer full of hope who was creating a new life through hard work. The premiere of the Yonko opera, Brother and Sister Reclaiming Wasteland, was a triumph. Chairman Mao Tzu-dong praised the opera. Nodding in approval, he said, he sets an example of how to serve the workers, farmers, and soldiers. Wang Dahua subsequently created several more highly popular Yonko operas. They included Zhao Fu Gui's Fresh Start, Zhang Pi Moa Eliminates Traitors, and The Idler Who Became a Hero. The Liberation Daily newspaper commented that through the new Yanko operas, the country's art circles had taken a first step in serving the people. As an artist, Wang Da Hua, 老百姓的生活情感当中，所以他塑造的，呃，老百姓就是真正的一位老百姓，博得了老百姓由衷的爱戴、热爱。